Hey, at the end with me Shubham from Blender File and this is the note concept going on and we are halfway through through the shaders and today we have uh, two more nodes those are the volumetric nodes and this is going to be a fun video let's see let's get started so I have this thing you can download this blend file I uh, know in the description link is there you can just download it and uh, yeah so this thing which is called the volume we will edit the material of that so uh, back to node editor what is this it's already having useless things <laughs> okay so uh, we'll press shift a shader and we'll go to the volume absorption firstly okay and make sure you're connecting this volume to the volume output but not to the surface if you press shift uh, control shift and left click it will automatically loop it will automatically connect it to the volume so you just don't need to drag it and connect just like that so okay uh, so what volume absorption does is it you know absorbs the light that is falling through you know that's going through the volume and then it you know kind of emits it that you can see so it has a color factor which gives a slight tint to the volume right and the density is how much dense the volume will be so more the density is, more the darker will the color get. So a high density will make it completely black and a density near of zero will make it invisible. Also, you know, quite nice density is a value of two to five, you know, between two and five, and that will give nice volume. So uh that's basically the volume option. You know, if I change the color to a black and white one. So, and increase density a bit. So the part which is white is absorbing more light than the part which is black. Okay, uh, so if I increase density like uh, between 2 or 5, let's go 5, and the brighter part that you can see over the edges, those are actually having you know, more absorption of light, and the part which is darker are getting less light to get absorbed, so that's why it's getting black. So increasing density will cause only the surface to absorb the light and will you know not allow the inner part inner volume to get the light to absorb. So that's the thing you need to keep in mind, right? That's basically the volume absorption. So the use of volume absorption is basically in any kind of liquid that you are making. So example water, wine, anything. So you know for wine you can just give it slight reddish and density of 25 I guess yeah too big I don't know you can just manage it save it that until you get and maybe nice, use more nodes until you get a nice red color so that's basically what the volume option does next thing we're going to do is shader and volume scatter boom so it also has a color input and a So we are into some kind of a problem and we'll do the volume scatter again so diffuse delete this and add a volume scatter and if you control shift click it will automatically get added to the volume that's where we need it and what it does is it scatters the light which enters its volume the light scattering can be seen it does not absorb the light like volume absorption does it scatters it so the density it affects how dense this scattering will be and how dense its volume so less density equals less dense and higher density is way too dense. So maybe two. Then anisotropy it actually affects the path of the light. So if light's currently entering like this because of this sun's direction, and anisotropy of zero means no effect and it will scatter it everywhere. It will scatter the light everywhere, and anisotropy of one means it will scatter the light in its complete direction. The direction in which light is going so if you can see sun's direction it's it's scattered in that direction only and anisotropy of minus one scatters it in its complete opposite direction so light is going from this direction and it gets scattered somewhere around here and somewhere in middle the effect of minus one is less so some light gets refract scattered in the boundaries also and some in the opposite direction same is for positive values okay now the color so the color is actually the wavelength of the light the color of the light or the wavelength whatever 
which gets scattered the most so color of red will make red light to scatter the most and if I position this cube inside of the sphere so you can see the cube is of blue color because red light gets scattered so it's opposite color this cyanish color is left and the cyan color means red color of the cube because that's left and it gets refracted uh, scattered why we seeing refracted is always instead of scattered so that's the thing okay uh, so that's it for this tutorial and we have covered the volume nodes as well and we are remaining only with few nodes with the shader and we'll be going through that very quickly in our next tutorial so I hope you liked it and if you have some query or suggestion do drop it in the comment section and to stay tuned with our more future tutorials do subscribe us and yeah you can also follow us on our facebook page at facebook.com slash blendfiles so uh, hope to see you in our next tutorial till then see ya and happy blending